G'day guys and welcome back to the CGPL Grand Final for 2013 here again. My name is Menace. And I'm Gogo Gadget and Menace, we are just about to jump into the culmination of the weekend, the culmination of the Cyber Gamer Premier League. And right now it is going to be I am Team Immunity LOL taking on Frenetic Array. Let's take a look. We've already got some picks and bands. Yeah, the picks and bands coming out. Immunity are on the blue side. Frenetic Array over there on the red side. Immunity already banning out Udia. Rippy, Rippy is not going to be playing that one, I dare say, in this grand final. Thresh as well as Zed taken away. Zed? Yeah, interesting uh, color bands there. Obviously, you know, they don't want the Ubers to get their Thresh, which was you know, so potent for them yesterday in particular. It uh, looks like you know, that Zed band as well, potentially targeted towards Claire. You know, I think that's a pretty good band from IM. You know, we've seen Claire throughout the day play, you know, a few different sort of APs like Oriana, uh, maybe Kasten as well maybe hasn't looked as comfortable on those as he did on his Z. So I like those bands from Immunity. Yeah, over four, Frenetic Array. They've taken away the Cassadin, Olaf, and as well the Vane, Radius Vane, very, very strong. I tell you what, Radius Vane, you know, I think people might have forgotten about it since the last patch, or maybe even uh, kind of assumed that thanks to the recent Vane nerfs that he wouldn't be quite as strong with it, but you know, from what we've saw, seen today and what we've not seen today, of course, uh, the semi-final that really played in, Radia played in amazing vein, and it is well worth the ban there that Frave given it. All right, first pick for Team Immunity. There is the Shivana coming out from those guys. A high priority. Lucian still on the board here. Yeah. Nasus being hovered over as well by Frenetic Ray. Well, we've got a chance. Quickly run through the sponsors here, Gogo. Go. Yeah. Thanks to AMD, Western Digital, Sound Blaster, BenQ, M-Wave, G skill and of course MSI. Yep. Thank you very much to those guys. All this wouldn't be uh, possible without them, yeah. that's for sure. All right, so first two picks for Frenetic Array, hovering over Ezreal as well. Rippy, looking at that uh, Nasus could be top lane, could be jungle. Yeah, it could be. I wonder. In fact, obviously last game, you know, we did see that top lane Nasus uh, played there, but you know, I think jungle Nasus still is potentially viable. But you know, I have to wait and see where Rippy decides to put that one, or whether you know, that's going to be played by JKS up in the top lane. I do know that JKS, you know, he's a fan, of course, of those sort of Renekton style tanky bruises up there. So I think it definitely would fit his play style, Menace. Yeah, all right. Nidalee also available for Swiffer. Yeah. So many good champions on the board. And he's locked it he in. Locked insta lock. Boom. Spooks taking away the Lulu as well. I think we're going to see a Lucian over four. I think so. Immunity. Yeah, potentially. So immunity right there. You know, we are going to be seeing hmm, maybe a support locked in here. I like that uh, hover over there from the Lee Sin. It's obviously going to be going over to Rippy if that is locked in. You know, I don't think we're going to be seeing a top one. But uh, now, in terms of support, what have they got? They've still got uh, maybe the Annie on the board, and I think yeah. taking Annie away from Rosie would be a very good move from Frey. Well, I dare say that uh, Rosie will be playing that Lulu. Well, yeah, maybe. Potentially. Potentially. Could we know, top lane? I don't know. Shivana jumping. Who knows? Who knows? No, I think it'll no, be no, a fair swiper. point. Fair call, yes. Swiper will be taking the Shivana top lane. I have not seen any Swiper Shivana play. Have you, Gogo? Oh, yes, I have. And Swiper Shivana is amazing. You know, he's obviously picked it up from maybe a few of the top solo queue uh, players around the Oceanic region that really started to use and started to uh, utilize its strengths. And Swiper Shivana is amazing. And sometimes, of course, earlier today, he made a few mistakes in the uh, semi final they played in uh, against Rebellion, but he is very, very strong, and especially when it gets ahead to a nice, good start. Right, over for Frenetic Array. They've locked in their mid laner, which is Rise. Now, we see some successful yep. Rise previously. Uh, yesterday, some of the guys pulled that one out, and yep. uh, that will be Claire playing the Rise, as well as Little Uber Giant will be playing that yeah. Leona. Now, Leona got yeah. the buff, armor, magic resist, really strong front line, and has been a very hot point of contention for VGR. Yes, Those guys have been playing have. to some success. Frenetic Array feeling that uh, they can bring it out as well as we are looking at the last pick for Frenetic Ray, JKS, also pretty competent on the Jacks. On the Jacks, yeah, I think that would be a, uh, a good pick there for, for JKS. Would of course mean that Rippy would be in the jungle on that Nasus, but uh, you're touching again on that uh, on that Leona pick there, which we're seeing potentially from Uber Giants Pro. You know, that is obviously because, you know, VGR, they played Leona and it really worked well against Frey. I don't think Frey were expecting, no, you know, going no. into those games, expecting to, you know, have that Leona played against them so well and lose those games as well. So I think Little Uber Giant might be, uh, you know, 
I think a bit of respect there to VGI by picking that fray, I suppose. And I'm very interested to see how it'll work out against IM's bottom line. Yeah, speaking of their bottom line, as I predicted, I guess you yeah. could say, Lucian has been taken by Radia. So it is going to be a Lucian and Lulu in the bottom lane, a bit of a protect the Lucian combination mm -hmm. with the Lulu able to use her ultimate and uh, really help out. There's a lot of really good poke dive in uh, Immunity's lineup. Some really strong champions, Alish, um, Elise, sorry, I should yeah. say, being played by Spooks, and uh, Nidalee Swiffer. We've seen him play uh, play the Nidalee yesterday, and he was oh. really, really good at it. And, you know, throughout the whole of today, Swiffer as well, he's been very much on point. He's having a good day, well, yep. through a good weekend even, I think, and uh, he is a fantastic Nidalee player. So very excited to see that one, of course. In this first game, it'll be interesting to see because... I feel as though Frenetic Array's team very much geared towards the later stages of the game. You know, they've got, uh, they've got I suppose, Nasus in the jungle where he can exert pressure early on. They've got that rise in the mid lane. He's you know, probably going to start off with a tier, maybe into a Rod of Ages, taking a lot of time to build that one up. Jax as well, JKS. Uh, it depends whether he goes for that early Triforce build yep. that can really you know, make him hit hard early or whether he goes for something a little bit uh, I think he's gone for the Bork lately, actually. The Bork, yes, absolutely. Blade of the Rune King early on that uh, seems to have worked out well for him but one thing's for sure I am with that composition you know they're, they're going to be great at all stages of the game Swiper on that Shivana you know he plays that Shivana as a real lane bully and uh, you know he's not going to let JKS get any any farm for free I feel up in that top lane yeah I think JKS will struggle big time against the Shivana um, looking at the Frenetic Array's lineup, it is a very, very strong composition yeah. but I think that Immunity have come out better off in the picking phase and uh, really Frenetic Array's lineup is a up close and personal yeah. composition that could be really, I guess, you know, Lucian is going to get a lot of free damage, yeah. I think, especially on, say, Jax and even Rise. Very short lane, uh, short range, I should say, on the Rise. Um, a lot of the guys from Frenetic Array will be up in the grill of immunity. Yeah, that's right. So, moment clear on that Rise. You know, he's, I think we've seen Clear play it a little bit before Menace, mm -hmm. but uh, he's been pretty strong in it so far. But yeah, definitely today. Um, it'll be interesting to see how he goes without his Zed because, you know, we've seen him previously kind of with a few Ori Ultimates today. Maybe not quite on point as he'd like it, but who knows? They've had a lot of time to rest, a lot of time to kind of regroup, you know, rethink, re collaborate their thoughts, kind of maybe plan a few uh, strats with their manager of, uh, or coach, of course. And it uh, looks like they're coming into this one fresh as are I am, of course. That's going to be a great best of three. Yeah, also I'd like to say congratulations to the guys over on Rebellion. Yeah. For taking away third position in a best of three. What an amazing lot of games that was, Gogo. I'm oh. sure you're pretty exhausted after <laughs> three, I guess almost three hours of casting those uh, very, very close and very long matches. But congratulations to Rebellion. Also VGR snapping up fourth place. Not bad get for those guys. They came all the way from New Zealand, mm. and you saw me talking to the 14-year-old ADC before. Oh, a lot of potential there he's great. amongst him. And I'm, I'm really interested to see what he can bring along. Obviously, you know, a few years ahead of him. Mm. Could, be, could be the next. Absolutely. Big you never know. Could ADC. be next right here. Next Who right knows? Here. We'll, uh, only time will tell me this, I'm sure. But for now, we're getting into this game. 20 seconds left on that spectator delay. But yeah, talking about the summoner spells very quickly. We haven't touched on uh, Swiffer on that nearly. Yeah. He's actually picked up the cleanse so you know a very defensive option there and obviously all that all that he wants to do in this composition is kind of siege you know keep on throwing those spheres and any sort of engage that uh, is attempted there by frenetic array yeah by frenetic array is just going to be completely countered by the cleanse and he's just going to cleanse flash jump away yeah that, i think he's going to keep him very safe uh, no room prisons from rice claire is going to have a difficult game ahead of him yeah. and it's going to be up to Rippy to help make things possible. Is he going to chill out in his jungle and just do all the farming, as we have seen him do lately, or is he going to come out and uh, make things happen? We'll have to find out in this matchup. This is the grand final, guys. The last best of three of the day between Team Immunity and Frenetic Array. All righty, let's get into the loading screen right now. Take a look at some of these skins these guys are bringing into the grand final right here, man. A few nice ones, of course. We've got a bit of sweet Lulu there. Played by Rosie and Ice Drake Shivana on Swiper as well, like he normally likes to use. So, oh, Infernal Nasus, look at that. This looks so good. It does. Looks it's very awesome. Good. So, overall, team compositions, Gogo, who do you favour? Who do you think is going to be coming out better and what stage, like where are they going to come out? Do you think maybe early game for Frenetic Ray is a bit stronger or are you thinking maybe 
Look, I'm, I'm taking a look at Frenetic Arrays Comp and they have a real issue in that they don't have that much wave clear. And later on in the game, that could be so, so troublesome for them because you know all that team immunity is going to be looking to do uh, when it gets to that point is just siege those turrets, throw those spears, wait until, you know, 10 spears have hit Frenetic Array and then go straight in. And they're, they're going to be able to siege those turrets because Frenetic Array, they, they're not going to be able to, to destroy the creeps fast enough. They just don't have the wave clear as we're getting into it now. So it'll be very interesting to see how that plays out. Of course, Frey, in terms of team fights later on, I'm liking their comp. Lots of CC, you know, lots of late game tankiness and damage, a good mix of that. Yes. But uh, the question is, will I am allow uh, those team fights to happen? So, Ezreal picking up the uh, Doran's Blade instead of going for the Relic Shield, which I've seen Uber Giants bro favour on Caitlyn. Really only choosing that for his Caitlyn builds at the moment. And uh, Leona picking that one up as well as the Lulu. And I guess it's just a very good support item. And no one else on, uh, see, on either team really want to grab that one and, you know, and pick up the, the advantage that that item can bring to the table. You can see now Frenetic Ray chilling out in this uh, middle lane brush. Bit of a camp going on here as Nasus is moving across. Yes, yeah, so Frey trying to uh, make something happen there, but of course I am there, not anywhere close. Looks like Frey maybe going towards the blue for a bit of invade, but of course Spooks is not starting there. And they're all down at the uh, kind of bottom river tri brush at the moment, or three brushes, I suppose it is now. So so we are going to be seeing that early blue steel coming out from Frey, potentially. There's a couple of members heading back. I don't think oh, they're going to Nope, they're just uh, chilling out, maybe to see if they can catch someone out. Claire going to return to the mid lane, and uh, JKS doing the same for his top lane. And uh, Like we said, the guys from uh, Immunity going over around this red buff. Spooks is going to take away the red buff and move on from there. Yep, so Spooks going to be uh, taking that one away first. Looks like uh, Elise is going to be... Pretty happy with that normal standard start. And in the meantime, for uh, Rippy, he's going to be starting on his red as well on that jungle NASA. So we're going to be seeing some pretty standard clear paths right here. Uh, standard clear times. And what I actually like, I'm just taking a look at now. Rippy, sorry, not Rippy, but Claire in that middle lane on that rise. I like the fact that he's picked up Ignite. It'll kind of allow him to maybe, maybe chain a gank or something like that with Rippy before Swiffer hits six, before he becomes uncatchable and maybe net a kill. Little Uber Giant there taking a little bit of poke from uh, from Lulu as well as Lucian coming up here. And you can see Radio already using the uh, aggression of Lucian to his advantage up in the top lane. The trade between Swiper and JKS. Swiper not faring too well just yet. Uh, a couple more levels I think that uh, JKS will be having a tough time. But let's have a look. The items pretty much mirrored all the way around except for uh, Rise picking up the mana crystal straight away. The sapphire crystal that is. Give him that extra bit of mana and uh, the damage that he will get. Yep, so nothing too crazy there. And look at that, up in the top line, we're seeing lots of action between those two guys. But JKS, after missing that stun, he's not going to win that trade. Yeah, he will be backing out. And the aggression from this bottom lane already shown across to Uber Giant Spray. And this is the disadvantage. All oh, the flash stun straight on to Radio. Radio throws out the barrier as well. The ignite being used from Leona. Leona in a bit of trouble here. Will escape with her life. Radio very low. Mm, yeah, Radio. Oh, I don't know, that was kind of almost an even trade, but the issue here is that Radia is very, is like you said, very low, so uh, certainly have to be very, very careful as Little Uber Giant is about to hit two, I think, on that Leona. There we go. So now he has access to that uh, dash. Doesn't have the flash up now, so, you know, Radia still has that, his flash available to him, so who knows, we might be seeing some more bot lane action. Yeah, Leona falling pretty low. Look, Radio doesn't take long for him to get that health back, though. With all the uh, lifesteal, I'd say he would have the lifesteal quince in there as well as the uh, Doran's Blade, which will turn some of the health on hit. Up in the top lane, Swiper still just chilling out, farming away as best as possible. And already this bottom lane forced up against the turret. A huge minion wave. Radio is continuously pushing um, hard onto Leona. That melee support is just, you know, a lot different. I'm surprised that Annie didn't come out from Rosie. Yeah, exactly. I mean, it, it's definitely working how they wanted to now. I mean, Lulu 
is, is the pick you want to go for if you want to push over Annie. And you know, that's exactly what they're doing. And already we can see Uber Giants Pro, he's missing some CS under the turret, 14 to 23 at the moment. That's exactly what IM wanted to happen. Really smart play here from IM. And they've got Spooks here as well, a tactic that they used in the, you know, some of the earlier games just to really put pressure on the turret. Well, the cocoon lands on Uber Giants Pro, but little Uber Giant coming in first oh. blood to Radio. That's bad news for Frenetic Array. Oh, you never want to give first blood to, uh, to Radio, that is for sure. Only four and a half minutes in as well. And you know, not only that, but little Uber Giant being dead means that maybe Uber Giants Pro is in danger down the bottom. JKS getting the stun on the swiper, though not faring too well in that trade. Rippy coming around, throws down the wither as well. The siphoning strike too much. Ignite, he flashes over the wall. Ignite still ticking away. Rippy is very fast right now. Has he got boots? I'm not sure. No, not even boots. He's just still very quick. And uh have to see if he's going to continue to chase. There's the wither. A couple more auto attacks. Ought to do it. He's going under the turret. One siphoning strike there. No, will not be enough. Swiper will escape with his life. Oh, wow. Swiper. Fantastic flash there. And he did manage to survive. So, you know, he's going to be... Well, we're not, not really happy about that because he did miss out a little bit. And it's a nice advantage to JKS. But Swiper right there, we can see he wants to keep up that lane aggression. He's picked himself up two Doran's blades for up there. And uh, that's really going to keep the pressure onto JKS's jacks, which, you know, I'm probably expecting, like you said, build water cutler, something like that, to uh, be able to duel Swiper. Yeah, and now the push coming down the top lane here. Nasus and Jax trying to uh, get a bit of damage on the top tower. Look at Claire zoning out Swiffer at the moment. And Swift not having the best of times. Radio just going to take the golems down this bottom lane, return to uh, the safety of his turret and do some more CSing. Let's have a look at the CS there, 33-28, obviously getting that first blood. Vampiric Scepter pick up onto Ezreal, a couple of wards as well as a Ruby Crystal over on Little Uber Giant. Yeah, so those first buys, you know, nothing too crazy. I do like the Vamp Scepter, however, on Uber Giants, bro, as opposed to something uh, like, oh, as we actually see Claire. Yeah, Claire getting ganked on from Spooks in the mid lane. Swiffer took a lot of damage from Claire, didn't pop that. Look, Cocoon lands as well. He is forced to flash away. Spooks goes into spider form. The Repel would still be on cooldown, I'd imagine. So not going to be able to pick up a kill there. Yeah, Claire going a little bit ham. Didn't burn that uh, Ignite, however. Really putting the pressure on Swiffer before he hit six. But now Swiffer just dinged it, so he should be fine in that lane. But yeah, just touching again. Love that Vamp Scepter to pick up in the bottom lane by Uber Giants Pro, as opposed to uh, something like a component for Triforce, because he needs that sustain when he has a Leona in the lane uh, against the high harass of that uh, Lulu Lucian bottom lane for IM. Yeah, I dare say that Ezreal will be building a Bloodthirster blood first. Yep. I say that every time. As uh, JKS and Swapper now pretty much fairly even on the trades. So yeah, pick out that Vamp Scepter is going to help out immensely. Lucian has picked up the BF Sword. He's going to have the huge damage coming out from uh, his bullying potential as well. Swiffer going in, ultimate popped on Rise just to clear the wave and do a little bit of damage to Swiffer down the bottom lane here. And everybody just, yeah, returning back to farming. Yep, and JK is farming pretty happily up in that top lane, but we can definitely see the effect that Swipe has had on him, putting all the pressure he can. That is 50 CS to 38 right there, exactly what we've expected to come out of that lane and uh, just looking a little bit down further towards the jungle. Spooks farming pretty well as well now at least 30 to 34. Yeah, all up in the top lane, a stun onto Swiper, returning some of that damage to JKS. Not faring too well in that trade, JKS. And uh, Swiper just able to continue pushing that top lane and getting CS. 56 to 40 CS in favor of Shivana. Not doing too bad. Oh, gank bottom lane though. Little Uber Giant goes in at the wrong time. Gets whimsied as well, going in, sacrificing himself for the good of his brother. The cocoon lands though, onto Ezreal up here. Will he be able to get the kill? A couple of oh. auto attacks and Spooks takes him down as well. Well, wow, fantastic play there by Spooks. And of course, Radia, that's a kill for Spooks. Another kill for Radia, two, zero, and one. He is going huge on this Lucian, this game. And you know, I feel as though maybe the Leona pick was a good kind of pick in practice, but perhaps Little Uber Giant hasn't had as much competitive experience as he has with his other supports like Thresh, which was of course banned by IM this game. Yeah, Immunity now transitioning into a nice and easy dragon. That's a lot of gold for those guys. 13 and a half gold, 13 and a half thousand gold to 10.8 thousand gold. That's a considerable lead, eight minutes in, three to zero. Frenetic Array not looking too good here. Rippy uh, went there before and stole away the enemy blue buff. You see Radio here pretty much uh, freezing the lane and sharing up some of that uh, the healing and gold from the Relic Shield on Rosie. 
yeah, he is at the moment. And you know, one thing as well in this game, Spooks, he's had a really huge impact right here down at the bottom lane. You know, all of his kills have been uh, helped out by Spooks, and we've seen him throughout the course of this tournament and you know today specifically really helping out his team and really making those kills happen, getting them on the board early on. And uh, Rippy taking away the blue buff again, and he's still chilling out, farming as best as possible. And I guess Nasus really suits his playstyle. He's the kind of guy that likes to chill out in the jungle and do everything. Spooks, on the other hand, has already been in quite a few ganks. He's already got two assists and a kill. So been in three, all three actually, of the kills for Team Immunity, making things work for him, getting that dragon as well. Uh, really helping out Immunity in this early game. Yeah, things are definitely working out in Team Immunity's favor exactly how they want them to uh, early on. And I feel as though soon we may even see uh, Immunity, after they've tried to defend this bottom tower, maybe transition into that objective sort of sieging uh, position that their team comp really is designed around. Really good at sieging turrets and doing all of that. So, all spooks coming in for a gank onto Claire. Where's the cocoon? Still waiting for it. He's trying to bait it out. There's ulti popped under turret though. Claire goes down very close. To Death and he eventually does. Swiffer though, Ignite being ticked. He uses the heal. Not going to be enough to kill him. Yep, Swiffer there with uh, with that kill. Going to help him out immensely. And once again, 100% kill participation from Spooks. And you know, look, we've got the kills on all the members where immunity really needs them. Although in the mid lane. Yeah, Rippy throws out the Fury of the Sands under turret, using that ultimate and also trying his best to clear the minions and save this middle turret from. Uh, from falling to Swiper, who has actually moved all the way down from the top lane. Although in the bottom lane here, Radia actually getting stunned from Little Uber Giant. The Whimsy straight on there. Flash Wells from Rosie. The knockout from his ultimate. Solar Flare comes out, doesn't quite land. Ultimate from Uber Giant's bro. Radia pops out the uh, barrier as well as the Flash too. The stun doesn't land on Little Uber Giant. The Culling coming out. A couple of auto attacks onto Radia will be enough. Ignite does oh. go down. A double kill though for Radia in the end. Yeah, a double. And that was well worth it for uh, for Radio, of course, picking up the double. Although Uber Giants, bro, and the Ezreal did manage to get that shutdown goal. That is very, very important for him. He was already behind in lane, already about 20 CS behind as well. But picking up that shutdown, especially after Radio got that fourth kill, is uh, going to kind of put him back in the game, so to speak. He's very, you know, getting very close to that bloodthirster right now. Once he gets it. He should be okay in the lane, but I tell you what, what aggressive play coming out of Rosie there. The flash ultimate uh, coming out onto both of the Ubers down in bot. Yeah, using that knock up just to try and get a little bit better positioning for Radier, and it did work out pretty well. Got himself a couple of kills, Swift and now going back into, uh, into human form there from Capform, just trying to throw out some poke. I haven't seen him land too many of the spears onto Claire, so. Claire doing a pretty good job, as I say that he's probably going to hit one. Uh, doing a good job of dodging those, you can see Rippy now. Level 6, got a bit of farm behind him, moving around for a gank in this middle lane. The Wither coming out underneath the turret, just doing a little bit of poke here, and uh, we'll be heading back. Yeah, nothing too serious there, and in fact, interested in Rippy at the moment, although no, action down the bot. Oh, that's a lot of damage from Rosie, as well as Radia. On to Uber Giants Pro. Not going to fare too well. The Rune Prison coming out from Swiffer. There is the Spear landing on the Claire. Not too much damage just yet. Having a Chalice of Harmony, a Fiendish Codex, and a uh, Doran's Ring. Only real form of Atheon. Um, yeah, so it looks like we're going to be seeing a uh, nice earlier Fiend's Unholy Grail there from Swiffer. Good pickup. Pretty common at the moment on Nidalee's. Just lets him do exactly what he wants to, you know, sustain those Spears, sustain that Mana. And lots of cooldown for them as well. So very much a siege-oriented uh, itemization there from Swiffer. Oh, bottom lane there, no, looks like, uh, oh no, top lane, JKS gets ignited under Tyro, the ultimate coming out as well from Swiper, Swiper picks up the kill. Wow, Swiper, easy as that, he's he's even healthy after that one, so I'd say up in the top lane, we're going to be seeing even more pressure, but got actually the rotation from Rippy up there as well. Oh, now Claire in a lot of trouble, forced to flash away the cocoon, I think it did just miss at the end there, just holding out as best possible, Swiper in a bit of trouble here, found Rippy in the jungle, trying to steal away, uh, the red buff, the rest of Team Immunity coming out. Swiper flashes away. This could be a trouble for Rippy, who has actually thrown out his ultimate. That he will be backing away to the safety of his own turret. Yeah, it might be so at the moment. Team Immunity, pretty strong. Rotating up towards that top lane. Seven and one in the kills at the moment. They are well ahead in gold also. 5K just at this, you know, 14 minutes mark of the game, barely. And oh, the stun. Oh, solar flare across the top. Ezreal ultimate coming, ultimate coming across as well. They were trying to combo it. Spooks now tanking up the turret in this top lane. 
tanking a little bit more. No real need for it, but uh, he'll probably be heading back. Anyway, they pick up the top turret as well. Radia using the culling to just do some wave clear here against Claire. Claire looking to maybe get a gank off, but Swiffer will join him as well. In the fight, Radia getting very aggressive. A couple more auto attacks on that turret. Turret and uh, Radia will take it down. Swiffer picks that one up. Well, wow, and I am already, by the 14 minute mark, have dismantled all of the outer towers of Frenetic Array. This is not good for them. I am, they're just playing this matchup exactly how it should be played. It's, it's almost like a textbook display here. You know, they're up against those very strong scaling heroes, Jax, uh, Rise, maybe even Nasus as well, but they're not letting them get any breathing room, any free farm, taking all the objectives they can, and it's looking very good for them. Yeah, Nasus is very strong late game. That siphoning strike, once it has a few stacks, it could be real danger for Frenetic, uh, sorry, for Team Immunity. But like you said, they're playing it exactly how they should. Taking away the turrets in the early game, and using the power that they have at the moment with Lucian's bullying potential as well. JKS, again, trying to uh, duel out with uh, Swiper at the moment. Not faring too well, although down the bottom lane, Uber Giant's throwing a bit of trouble. Cocoon lands onto little Uber Giant. And uh, Radia coming across the top, a gank not quite successful, although up at the top lane, JKS leaping to safety, the leap strike there, helping him out. Yep, Swiper there up in that top lane. He's probably going to be able to get that turret as well, so another turret will probably be going down there in favour of Team Immunity 4, I'm sure, will be down by the ooh, almost 16 minute mark. Oh yeah, and a Cocoon just missing there once again from Spooks. Playing at least very well this game. Rippy coming up into this top lane, going to try and uh, help this one out. Oh, Swiper finds himself a Claire in the jungle though. There is the Rune Prison as well. Swiper in big trouble. He does not have any form of escape at the moment. Ignite will take him down. Yeah, and meanwhile down the bot lane, the action's happening. Oh no, Luke Giants bro in big trouble. The culling comes out. Will it be enough? The last few hits oh. will do it as he falls. Great, great bit of play there from Team Immunity down in that bottom lane and you know it was actually worth it for Swiper to die up in the top because Frenetic Ray they had to dedicate too many resources to people up there to get the kill onto Swiper in the meantime I said look yeah you can uh, kill our top lane Chivara if you want we're just going to take your turret and kill your Ezreal. Yeah and move on through take themselves this dragon more and more gold in favour of Team Immunity 8,000 gold ahead 9 to 2 4 to 0 in Taurus Frenetic Ray this is looking very dim already and we're only 16 minutes in go go Wow, 16 minutes. It feels like, uh, uh, well, a lot later than that. That's for sure, man. That's for the moment, Claire. Just doing what he can to keep the farm up. That's exactly what he needs to do. You know, although Frenetic Array look like they're behind at this point in, in the game, of course they are, but if they can just stay in here, I want to say for another 10 minutes without getting completely steamrolled, then they've got a good chance in this game because, you know, they've got that rise. Soon he's going to pick up that Rod of Ages. Ten minutes later, boom, that's a big power spike for him. Tia stacking up. Soon as that becomes a, uh, a Seraph's Embrace later on, boom, that, that's another big pickup for Clara. Big pickup for Frenetic Ray, which they really need. And also, I think once Jake's, JKS gets that uh, Blade of the Ruin King, you know, he's going to potentially be able to dual swipe up in that top line. Yeah, I do agree. A very late game orientated uh composition coming from Frenetic Array and it's going to be very difficult for them to get up and going at this stage it's nine and two like I said they are very low and uh, comes Leona looking for the stun but uh, Spooks might be a little bit caught here he's going to be getting pinched on from uh, from the Leona let's go down and have a quick look at the team fight happening here there's ultimate coming out from Nasus Rippy popping that one deciding against engaging as we see the culling come out little uber giant gets cocoon as well in big trouble the solar flare does land on spooks but leona eventually falls down and rippy yeah. will be backing away rippy forced to back out of that one and we've got swiffer here on this uh nearly a little bit low but of course can just heal himself up once again swiper continuing to put the pressure on jks you know he's Struggling so much up in this top lane, the CS difference is immense at this point in time. And I am, that, you know, it's it's just so easy what they need to do, just siege towers. There's no way Frey can clear the waves fast enough. There's no way Frey can sustain through those spears either. Yeah, you did call it early on. There's not really much wave clear on Frenetic Ray, and they're paying for it. Now, Rippy going so low, the cocoon just missing there. Wow, that would have been the end of Rippy for sure. And even that turret, as you see, four members of immunity here. Just hanging around this middle turret and the split bush coming out from Swiper. JKS can't even 
you know, 1v1 him underneath his own second tier turret. That is bad news for Jax. There goes the, the second tier turret down in the mid lane, and they're continuing this push, Gogo. Yeah, they are. And, oh, no, they're going in. They're the cocoon landed on Rippy. Rippy taking a lot of damage, not very tanky just yet. The repel coming out from Spooks, negating some of the damage and taking the focus away. He will not die, but around comes Swiper. They're going to take the inhibitor turret as well, maybe even a free inhibitor. Oh, and you can see Spooks, you know, he, he knows he doesn't even need to go for those kills because they don't need them to push down these objectives. Oh yeah, there's Zenith Blade not quite landing there. Rippy coming in, throws down the wither. The ultimate being used onto Shivana. She comes out, will she pick up the kill onto Leona? Leona eventually does lie, but Jax takes out at least very quickly. Is he going to pay with his own life? He will. Lucian picks up the kill there as Ooh. well. Claire in a bit of trouble. Ignite being used on him. I don't think he's going to survive this. He's trying desperately to kill Swiffer, but gone. It's three for one trade in favor of Team Immunity, and this inhibitor is not long for this world, Gogo. -Go. No, it is not. Fantastic play there from Team Immunity. And now you can see they're so far ahead, even in these team fights, which, you know, Frenetic Race Composition really is built around. It just doesn't work for them. And as well, Little Uber Giant, Having that solar flare not used in that last team fight, I'm not sure if it was up there now, I think it was, really, really could have cost them. They need to be getting that CC out. And uh, at this point in time, I am then running away with the lead. Yeah, they are really far ahead. 10 kills is a big lead, you know, as well. Seven to zero turrets, the gold. Wow. 38,000 to 25,500 oh. gold. This is looking very dim for Frenetic Array. Maybe they need to start thinking about their next game at this point, Gogo, -Go, because I'm not sure how they're going to get it out <laughs> oh. of this. It's going to have to be uh, a lot of turtling, I think, but already Immunity have broken their defences and come through and taken that inhibitor. Yeah, and I think, you know, this game so far, it's just been a matter of, uh, you know, really frenetic array, not having perhaps the right comp to go against. So maybe against uh, some of these other teams, uh, they're not going to... Oh, up in the top lane, though. Yeah, Raider right, right in a lot of trouble. JKS will pick up the kill. The culling comes out. He will get shut down, but JKS will pay for his life as Spooks comes around and picks up that one. Great play there by Spooks, rotating up. But, you know, JKS getting the kill onto Radio. I'm sure he'd take that any day. Swipe is caught. Yes, yeah, Solar Flare coming out. Does get the slow, not quite the stun. Rippy throws out his ultimate as well. Look how tanky Swiper is, though. Continuing to just kite them through his ultimate. The burn there, doing a lot of damage. Little Uber Giant could be in trouble here. Swiper doesn't have his ultimate or anything to really get away. Zenith Blade will get the stun. A couple more auto attacks. Oh, he gets, gets it! The, gets the kill onto Leona anyway. Rippy comes in and takes him down. Wow. <laughs> Swiper at the moment can 2v1 just like that and oh no and the rest of I am in the meantime just pushing down this top lane tower and oh it's just so hard for them. Claire getting cocooned under turret, the room prison though onto Spooks, uses repel, he's gonna have to come down at some stage, there's ultimate from Ezreal, he flashes away to safety, a good flash from Spooks. Good move there from Spooks, absolutely and you know in the meantime look at the base of Team Immunity. Oh, oh my lord, oh Uber Giants bro just gets destroyed by one of those spears by Sweeper, he's got a Rabadons and the Athenes. 21 minutes in, how much AP does he have? He's got three, over 300 at this point in time. That is completely insane. Yeah, Swiffer is a beast at the moment. Rippy standing on a trap there. The bushwhack being used and uh, Swiffer taking advantage of that, trying to do some magic damage there. Little Uber Giant coming across here. Battle of the supports maybe, just trying to clear out the vision wards. Although Spook's coming in. The Zenith Blade doesn't quite land. The Cocoon does though. Swiffer over the wall. The spear landing, not enough. They don't, don't feel like they can engage. Lucian in the bottom lane, as well as Shivana, all the way back in her own jungle, grabbing that red buff. Yeah, she is there. So, Swiper, speaking of him, in fact, let's take a look at his items. He's got that Sunfire Cape like he normally wields. Now that Spirit Visage. So, quite like that pick. It's a little bit of magic resist against, you know, pretty heavily magic damage team there. Rise is doing a lot of, uh, you know, frenetic arrays. Sustained damage out for, oh, a little Uber. The Solar Flare doesn't land again. Rippy coming in. Throws down the slow onto Spooks. Spooks has the repel still available. Does a huge amount of burst to a uh, little Uber Giant. But everybody there from Frenetic Ray flash not available for Spooks. The culling comes out. There's Ultimate from Lulu just saving his life in the front line. Oh. Rippy trying to tank up a storm. Oh, the spear makes him solo. Radiant Ra Ra comes in and picks up the kill. Claire coming in the front line. Gets a room prison onto Radiant. Swiffer gets destroyed from Ezreal as well as Claire. And that is a one for one trade. That was very close. But down this bottom lane, Swiper pushing up this. Turret. I think he may get this one as wow. well as the inhibitor. I cannot believe Spook survived that one. I mean, he got the repel out, then after that he repelled straight back down. All of the help, all of the, you know, knock up shields, all of that from Rosie and etc. And all of his natural tankiness, I guess, on that very, you know, 
well, tank-oriented Elise build, I suppose, <laughs> with that, uh, you know, Spirit of the Ancient Gold and the Locket of the Iron Solari as well, paying off for him and baiting Frenetic Array into, a few ki into at least one kill, I think. So, well played to IM. Yeah, immunity really far ahead. Frenetic Array going to have to look at their next game a little bit closer, maybe change up what they're doing at the moment. Yep. They will have first pick, though, being blue side. We'll have to see how they... Uh, how they use that to their advantage as well as the bands and now frenetic array in a very defensive stance both red buffs here you can see on swiper and radio the baron being looked at maybe potentially right there so Swiper radio they have actually started that one off and they've obviously just uh, decided they can do it fast enough they've got so much damage on their team and this baron's going to go down very very fast although I know about it. Yeah, the ultimate from Ezreal coming across, giving vision. I don't think they're going to be there. And look at how much damage the Raider is doing at the moment to that uh, solar flare. Doesn't quite land a good try at stealing the cocoon landing on Rippy. Rippy won't even survive. Look at the burst damage coming onto him. Spoos very low. Also use the repel in the back line. Swiper is so huge from the Lulu ultimate. Uber Giant's bro falls very quickly. Little Uber Giant, you are not long for this world either as he is taken down. And Leona picks up the kill on the Spooks, but it's not going to be enough. Claire now on the back foot trying to run away. I think Immunity might have this one in the bag. It is a surrender from go. Frenetic Array. Wow, look at that. Frenetic Array just getting dismantled in under 25 minutes of that one. I tell you what, man, it's not what we were expecting at all from uh, Frey, but they need to do something for next game because that just looked uh, amazing. Shivana amazing bands, I would say, next Shivana game? Man, absolutely. Shivana band, uh, maybe a radio band, uh, and a Swiffer band. Yeah, we, I think that's what <laughs> It's not but, enough bands. Yeah, no, absolutely. I mean, Swiffer, he, need, he can't have that, uh, that nidly. That team comp from Iron that game was just too strong for Frenetic Array to deal with. Frenet they, they had no option but just to sit there under their tower. They didn't have enough wave clear to uh, you know, stop IM just from doing whatever they wanted. The hard engage didn't really work like we saw. You know, Little Loop Giant wasn't able to get those really clutch solar flares that uh, his team needed to go and initiate. So that was it. All right, that is it for game one. We've got game two coming right up, guys, between Team Immunity and Frenetic Array. My name is Menace, joined by GoGo. -Go. Please stick around.